Go drop. Is tell, go get in your car. Me, dude. I'm not don't touching touch me. I can but stand I'm here telling you. Up. Hurry up. What? I'm sorry. I didn't Make it snappy. Hey, what I have a right to protect myself. Yeah, you you know stay in the house. Please call your supervisor. Yes, you do. I'm going to record this live on YouTube right now. Hello guys, today we'll start our video of a simple incident, but at the end you'll be treated to cops smashing windows and violent arrests. And if you wanna support my videos, I will be very grateful to you, above I'm broadcasting everyone who has helped me, thank you, and let's get started. Top right here, dude watch out bro. Detective Adams, what's your badge number? 1150. Alright, get your arm off my door so I can no, close sir. it. Let me see it. Let get your see. arm off my door, please. I'll give you my license. Give get your, your arm license. off my door. Okay, give me your license. Freaking arm off my door, man. Can you close my door back there that you told them to leave open? I will. Letting my AC out? You're a douchebag, dude. You're going on YouTube, buddy. Cool. Say hello, freaking jerk. Go ahead and write me a ticket for nothing. You like harassing people, huh? There's no signs around here. I'm going to see you in court and I'll beat this. Fantastic. Go ahead, man. Thank write you. your little thing. So where's the sign? I drop him off over here, which it's is not by area. the sign. It's a gore area. You're not so allowed this, to stop this here guy's either. telling me I can't drop him off. That is correct. By sir. that orange sign. Sir. Hop in your car. I drop these dudes off yes, way over did, here, sir. and this guy with his badge number. Go drop. Is telling me don't your touch car. me, dude. I'm not don't touching touch me. I can but stand I'm here telling you, what? no, not I while I'm doing here. my investigation. You're not doing any invest Go do your investigation. Your car's over there. Go hop in your car. No, I want to stand here. No, you're not going to interfere with me. I'm not interfering with you. I'm standing on the side of the street. I would understand this cop if he wasn't too faced. He finds the Uber driver, but he doesn't find the bus that parked in the same spot. Correct me if I'm wrong, but an Uber is public transportation too, just like a bus. Get on the sidewalk then. I'm standing on the side of the street. Get on the sidewalk. Bro, don't out. write my ticket. Okay. Hurry up. What? I'm sorry, I didn't Make it snappy. What? Be quick about it. I'll do my best, all right? Thank you. You are public servant. Damn traffic cops. You guys need to get a real job. What about dog? Hey, you gonna give them a ticket? They're dropping off exactly where I dropped off. I'll have your pal do it or whoever's uh, free. Not much. What's going on? This dude is writing me a ticket for dropping these folks off right here. There's a whole bus doing the same thing. I drive Uber every day and drop people off around here every day and have no problems. And this guy's being a jerk talking about I wasn't supposed to drop him off, but I didn't drop him off where that orange sign is. So we got this guy over here being a douche, taking up my time. I didn't break any laws or do anything like that. So he's just being a tyrant. I'm not parking. I'm getting a ticket from this guy. He told me to stop. Where'd you drop off at? Exactly where my car, where those, you see that bus, that topper, where all those people just got off at? That They're not getting the ticket, that they're just okay to park there and do what, exactly what I did? I did what he did, but he's okay to do it and I'm not. And I just got that on tape. We go to court, I want to show this to the judge. Mr. Price, do it again. It'll be documented and there'll be no excuse. No. And the next video is about two feuding neighbors, but one of them is definitely satisfied with his revenge now, because the cops attacked his opponent with taser. The arrest was very off so I will tell about it in the new story. It was a Sunday afternoon that Neri Portillo will never forget. Portillo said he had just gotten off of work. He was walking out of his house with a plastic bag to pick up trash on the street. In no less than a minute deputies can be heard on a video recorded by the family calling out to him. Unfortunately he didn't understand anything because he doesn't speak English. Seconds later, an officer appears to deploy his taser before snatching the bag and tackling Portillo to the ground. Another video shows the next chain of events. Two officers appear to be on top of Portillo before a third officer gives him commands in Spanish and puts his foot out where he wants Portillo to put his hands. Portillo appears to put his hands behind his back, but the stun gun is used again. Portillo said he was in pain, not just from the taser, but because he had recently had surgery on a broken arm that required nine screws. Somehow, I think I know how this story will end. Any complaint or lawsuit filed by the victim will be met with qualified immunity for the offending officers. Meanwhile, they will do their own investigation and find that they did nothing wrong. Then tomorrow they will turn around and do it again because they know they can get away with it. Currently. I've just been made aware of this late this afternoon. Constable Alan Rosen said he had not yet seen the video, but said his deputies had responded to a call about a neighbor who wanted to fight with a gun. Rosen said the caller reported he thought he had a, a weapon with him. After searching Portillo, officers did not find a gun. His family said deputies dumped him in the middle of the street before he was taken to a hospital to be evaluated. 
After the attack, he was left with multiple sores, bruises, and problems with his arm. Better uh, community police relationships. The activist hopes the full body camera video of the incident will be released. They also want to know why officers quickly resorted to using a stun gun. Rosen did say he planned on launching an investigation into the incident and encouraged Portillo and his family to file a complaint with internal affairs or even the district attorney's office. And the next attack was on a 74-year-old man who turned out to be a do-gooder, but the cops made it worse as usual. See how they behaved and I'll give more details a little later. At the investigation revealed, here's what happened. The children living in the neighborhood asked him for ice cream and he didn't refuse them. They came home and told their parents who gave them the ice cream. Their father, who you'll see at the end, started threatening the man and then seek the cops on him. No, oh, that's it! I have a right to protect myself. Yeah, you do. And I stay in the house. house. When the police are investigating you for a crime, you don't get inside. Oh, you yeah, come in and talk. We told you. Yeah, I'm with us, sir. Okay, I'm trying to get a Bradley head, Baker head, my arm. Yeah. Stop it! What? Come to me. Relax. Put your feet together. No warrants. We're gonna get you. No nothing. Sit up. Sit up. I got bad knees and a heart. Can you call the phone? I'm trying it right now. One. Put your legs in like you're sitting in. What do you want, Baker? Oh God, I don't. Baker, what do you mean? What do you mean? Call for a ride. Call for a drug addict next door. I deal with this. Medicine too. I stayed in my house. I never yeah. left the door. Listen, can, can I talk to you? Please? I'm not young. Okay, let's Nobody go. deserves this. Shit. I'm a citizen. Okay, but let's let let's, let, let's explain what citizen. happened from our from you our perspective. Go. This gentleman, hold up. I have a right to listen. Listen, just let us just let me talk. This gentleman next door, the drug addict, calls 911. Yeah, he's got warrants in Detroit and everywhere else. And that's all they do is smoke. He comes over here, I'll kill you. Let him talk. He says, he says, hey. As you can imagine, they broke in without a warrant, attacked him and searched the house. It was only after the man was beaten that they started to look into the situation and how it real was. To make matters worse, they accused him of assaulting police officers. Several big guys blamed it on the old man. My next door neighbor has been talking to my kids, inviting them inside his house. I didn't invite them in. Hold up, let me, let me, let's just tell you where we're coming from. Be a nice guy, he asked for an ice cream. Okay. They do it, his wife was over here. Okay. Wherever who she is, yeah. I don't care. The kids, Again. Mr. Larry, can Mr. we have an ice cream? Yeah, sure, why not? Mr. Mr. White, please. They call us. Trying to be a nice guy, and this is a they, shit. They I call us. I believe you're trying to be nice. They call us and said, you invited his kids in. He said, hold on, let me just. Right. He says he invi you invited his kids in. He doesn't want his kids over here. He said he came to confront you and asked where his kids were. No, no, no. Kids of his wife come up first. I said, come on in. They were out there earlier. I gave him two each. I got she you. She goes, thank you, Larry. Thank you. But then, no problem. Then they come back, knocked on the door. I said, they're talking to my friend. I said, the kids are back. Mr. Larry, can we have another ice cream? I don't care. That's fine. You're little kids. I got you. Fine. And the next thing you know, the dope yeah, head comes oh over threatening me. Uh -huh. I'll kill you. Step outside. I'll beat the hell out of you. I'll do this. Uh -huh. I said, please don't come over on my property and threaten me. Mm -hmm. And now you're gonna see the father of these kids and you know, I'd better check to see how sober he is and how good a parent they are. He said, I'll kill you. You got a right to stay in your ground. So, oh, I know the law. Fine, I shut the door. Just in case he kicked in my door, I'm gonna protect myself. Simple. That's the reason I have it on my waist. I got you. I'm in my own again, home. I have a right. Sir, what's wrong with you, bro? You know what I mean? You're gonna grab my kids and take me in your house and okay. then pull okay. a pistol out of me so I walk the right. kids. I'm gonna grab her a statement too. But when yeah. he came outside, and then he was, talking, pointed at me outside. They're too. 
and in the following epic video the driver is wrong and apparently he misunderstands the laws. I'm not excusing him, but you should see how it ended. This officer first. I already explained it. No, no, no. Okay, so, <sighs> officer, what's your name and badge number, please? Don't have to tell you that. This is going to result in a complaint. Go right ahead, bro. So, I'm asking what I need for to... your driver's license and proof of insurance. Could I have your car, please? No, you may not. I need your Why driver's not? license and proof of insurance. Okay, could you get in contact with your Listen supervisor, please? I am asking, I am giving you a lawful order. That's not a lawful order. Yes, I'm asking could you... for your driver's license I'm going to read something to you. Ex parte and Dickey. This is Dickey versus Davis. Every citizen has an unalienable right to make use of the public highways of the state. Every citizen has full freedom to travel from place to place in the enjoyment of life and liberty. People versus Not House. This is 147 Colorado. No state government entity has the power to allow or deny passage on the highways, byways, nor waterways transporting his vehicles and personal property for either rec recreation or business, but by being subject only to local work regulations, safety, cost, and traffic lights, speeds, and speed limits. Travel is not a privilege requiring licensing, vehicle registration, or forced insurances. The term motor vehicle means every description of carriage or other contrivance propel or drawn or drawn by mechanical power and or used for commercial purposes on the highways. The term used for commercial purposes means the carriage of persons or, or, or property of any fare, fee, rate, charge, or other consideration, or directly or, or indirectly in connection with any business or automobile for hire. Is a motor vehicle. I wanna point out that he's been polite, he's not trying to run away and he even says he just want the cops to be on the side of the people, even though uh, he's wrong. I think people like that need to be talked to and not used force. Other than an, an automobile stage used for transportation of persons for which remuneration is received. This is a private automobile, sir. This is why I don't have tags or registration. In fact, I've already gone through this and had my actual plate stolen by an officer. So I'm already dealing with a situation like this and I would like to preserve your employment. I'm trying to allow you to do the right thing here. I'm trying oh, to help I, you. I haven't even told I'm, you if I'm writing you a citation. I'm tr it doesn't, I don't understand the problem. But you're detaining me right you. now. It's I'm going to read Title 18 for you. It's probably a Because you need to know this. Because I want you to be on the side of the people. No rights are being violated. They are being, they I'm are. On the side of that Based on what I just told you, that was constitutional right law. That was Currently Supreme Court law. you're obstructing my duty. I am not. I am not. I am not. I am not obstructing. I am not obstructing anything. I'll show you my driver's license. Although I know I, for no, a fact. Stop talking. I need it now. One moment. I'm going to. I'm going to look up this law because we're going to be patient. We're going to be all right, patient. All right. We're done. Go ahead and step out. Go ahead and step sir, out. I'm gonna smash this windshield. Sir, please don't I'm smash my window. Remove you. Window. You're breaking the law. Vehicle. Do not do that. At some point, another cop comes from behind and the situation is clearly getting heated. But even in this situation, the man is not rude and tries to explain his position. And uh, it's just a ticket. Is that a reason to attack him? Sir, right excuse me. Now, could you, could you call your supervisor, please? Out. I have no contract with you. It. Please don't do that. We're not past anything because I haven't it. committed a crime. Why are you trying to ruin my life? Do not it's damage awesome. my property. Unlock your truck and step You are out. not giving me a lawful order. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Listen, you are not the listen, law. You're under arrest. Listen, you are not the listen, law. Listen, you are breaking the law. Busted. Call your supervisor, please. No, nope, I don't have Sir, to. Sir, please that. call your supervisor. Yes, you do. I do not have to do that. I'm going to record this call. live on YouTube Ready? right now. Right. What the? Show me your hand. What the? Show me your hand. 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 Show me Show me your hand. 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 Show me your what are you doing? Stop You're breaking the law! Stop You're breaking the law! Stop You're breaking the law! Get out! I have a gun right here! Stop! 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 Please! Come on! What are you doing? Right now, you're gonna get tased! Hands up! I'm out! I'm out! Hands up! On the ground! On the ground! On the ground! Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop this. Friends, write your opinions in the comments. I think we have a lot to discuss and anyone who wants to support me, I ask you to send how much you can spare by pressing the thanks button. This channel exists only because of you.